We're also keeping a close eye on the bond markets this morning. Mm -hmm. Treasury yields have been stuck near all-time lows ahead of the Fed's new Main Street lending program that is supposed to be ready to roll finally by the end of this week. Let's talk about all this with Guy Benstead, uh, Portfolio Manager at Shelton, Shelton Capital Management. Guy, good to speak with you again. Uh, the yields uh, really have been near record lows again. What is, what is the Treasury market telling you about what the Federal Reserve may or may not do at its next couple of meetings? Well, I think the Treasury market is, is displaying some of the same signals of confidence that we're seeing in equities and in credit. So we're seeing front end rates anchored to record lows. We've seen limited volatility, but a little bit increased volatility in the 10 year sector. And we're seeing the curve steepening. All those things are positive signals uh, economically consistent with uh, the thought that maybe the markets are a little bit ahead of the real economy. But what we're seeing in, in the other credit markets of, of risk of corporate bonds and the like is, is some significant confidence showing up there. Guy, what about investors who want to um, have a little more exposure to the bond market? Is, is it a good time to buy treasuries? Should they maybe be looking at corporate debt right now? Well, I, I'm biased. I think corporate debt is significantly better valued than treasuries. I think treasuries... As a, uh, as, a, as a risk protection asset are okay. I don't think there's a tremendous risk of higher rates, particularly in the front end of the curve. The Fed may even begin to fix uh, rates out to three to five years, but you're gonna see some volatility in the long end. Um, I think that a better place for extra money is, is either high quality corporates or high quality municipal bonds. The tax exempt yields there are, are attractive. And for uh, more adventurous investors, we like certain high yield credits, uh, you know, hiring managers who can do their homework and, and sort of through. Uh, there, there's been a lot, there's going to be increased defaults. There's going to be uh, increased restructurings. Uh, but I think there are a number of companies that have bolstered their liquidity uh, to a point where they're going to make it through. The, the economic dip that we're inevitably going to see in the second, probably the third quarter, and come out of it fine on the other side. Guy, you're scaring me a little bit with the uh, with the bull call on munis and, and high yield debt. Why that confidence? Is it a broad, broad you uh, just a broad based stroke here, where uh, you're saying that if the Fed is backed up these markets, so these companies and and states are okay. Well, the Fed has backed up the markets, that's for sure. They've, they've come out with a bit of an alphabet soup of programs to support both the primary and secondary uh, credit markets. They're being very judicious with that credit, however. They're bleeding it into the market slowly. Uh, a lot of the programs that they've announced they haven't even begun to implement yet, yet the market's taking a lot of comfort from those. Uh, it's important to not paint the market, especially the credit markets, with one broad brush, and the mini market's a great example. There's not just one muni market. There, it is uh, 50 states. It's countless counties. It's countless uh, uh, agencies, and so there are definitely uh, going to be strains and stress. And some of those are going to be headline uh, worthy. Uh, but the bulk of of quality borrowers in both municipal and corporates are are going to be okay. And if you just go back a few months ago, back in way back in January and February. Uh, you know, risk premiums were at historic tights. Now, we're not still at the wides, but March certainly provided a blowout of, of spreads, and we're still finding things that are, we think are pretty relative, relative, on a relative value basis attractive. You know, Guy, if we see, um, I guess a few different scenarios could play out here as more states uh, begin to reopen. If we see a moderate recovery, what do you think risk appetite is going to be on the part of of investors, are we still going to see um, healthy spots relative to equities in the bond market? I'm talking investment grade debt, maybe even even emerging market bonds. What do you think the fate of those those assets will be if we if we experience a moderate economic recovery? I, I think it's going to be a tale of haves and have nots. There are a lot of companies that right now are. Uh, are grabbing headlines, uh, bankruptcies left and right, whether it's in retail, you had you Hertz rent a car over the weekend. And those are companies that were stressed even before the pandemic. And, and I think a lot of those companies are going to have to be restructured. They may live on, 
but they're they're uh, they're, they're going to be stressed again. In, in the credit markets, it's all about where the bonds price. It's all about relative value, and and so if you can buy companies that are money good at discount prices, then then that's a good investment uh, opportunity the way we see it. I think that it's it's important to not be too risk averse. And again, I think an economic recovery is going to occur. It's a matter of when and how long. And what we don't know is as the economy gradually opens up, where are consumer preferences? Where's where's the appetite going to be? Are people still going to go out? Are people going to fly? I'll tell you, I flew last week and, and it was a ghost town in each airport and on the airplanes. And you know, I think airlines are, are going to struggle. I think there are significant changes in business models are going to have to take place. And it's, it's, there's a lot of uncertainty to how that's going to play out. All right, let's leave it there. Guy Benstead, Portfolio Manager at Shelton Capital Management. Thank you for taking some time this morning. Thanks, Brian. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.